Well, what's going on guys welcome to a brand new man of mobile video on my channel i do hope you guys are having a wonderful day and the brand new takeover promo has just dropped i must say the card art for this promo is so so cool um it's it's just phenomenal in my opinion um, but this promo is super, super awesome. I wanted to give you my best grind guide and run over a little bit of the stuff that is new with this promo. Um, you know, how I think you can get the most out of it. And then a little bit later, I will be uploading a video going through all of the math for this promo. I just wanted to get the grind guide out as soon as possible so people could hop on that grind and start getting to work grinding towards the brand new 105 Grand Masters, Mel Blunt and Ed to Tall Jones. These guys are already Mad Maxed, so they will have all 99 stats, um, 200 power, and the card art on these cards is just so, so cool. The card art is just so cool for these, uh, for all of these cards. Uh, we also have Brian Pools, Zedarius Smith, Alvin Kamara, Ronnie Stanley, and a few other masters for this promo. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on over to TakeOver and we'll check out the sets and see what is exactly required for all of these masters. So, first off, the Grand Masters, Mel Blunt and Ed Tall Jones. In order to get both of these cards, you are going to need to complete three AFC Masters or three NFC Masters. Three NFC Masters if you want Ed Tall Jones and three AFC Masters if you want Mel Blunt. Now, there are four AFC Masters and four NFC Masters out right now. We might see a couple more added later on in this promo in a few days. EA has done that in the past promos. They will release a couple more cards as the promo goes on. Um, but right now, we've only got four NFC Masters. We've got Ronnie Stanley, Michael Schofield, DJ Reader, and Brian Poole. And then for the AFC Masters, we've got Zadarius Smith, Cooper Cup, Alvin Kamara, and Malcolm Jenkins. Now, these cards are going to be kind of difficult to get, especially for free-to-play players. Now, I'm going to give you my best grind for you free-to-play players, people who want to get the most out of this promo without spending money. Um, I don't spend money either, but this promo is going to be difficult. It's going to take a lot of grinding, okay? Um, and if we check out how we're going to be able to get one of these masters, the first thing you're going to notice is banners and specific badges, okay? Now, there are only four types of badges in this promo, north, south, east, and west badges, okay? And these four badges are going to go for both AFC and NFCs. It just depends on what specific division your card is in. So for Zadarius Smith, the Green Bay Packers are in the NFC North. So he will require North badges. And then for Ronnie Stanley, the Ravens are in AFC North. So he will require North badges, okay? Same thing goes for Cooper Cup. He is in the West. Kamara is in the South and Jenkins is in the East. The same goes for the AFC Masters. I just don't want to go, you know, specifics into who is where. Okay, so you're going to need 30 specific badges and then 25 banners. The banners are just going to be NFCs for the NFC players and AFCs for the AFC players, right? That is very straightforward. Now, you're also going to need 490 pluses, 885s, and 1080 pluses. Uh, for uh, Madden Future players. You're going to need 90s, 85s, and 80s to get these cards. Now, this is where it can be difficult for free-to-play players. Getting these banners is going to be difficult, okay? You're going to need lots of badges, lots of tokens. Getting these 90s is also going to be difficult. The first promo in, you know, the sequence of these field pass promos where you've got, you know, four different promos inside of the gigantic field pass, the first one is always the most difficult, okay? Just because you don't have a grip for what EA is basically going to be throwing at us for this promo, uh, for the sequence of promos that we're going to see. You don't necessarily know what their requirements are going to be. Um, and then you also don't have a whole lot of players handy. After these promos, you usually have some leftovers that you can turn into 85s and 90s to set yourself up for the next promo. But the first promo is always the most difficult all right it always has been in the past um so this promo should be very very difficult and if you're not thrilled with this promo you don't like the masters you don't want the grandmasters maybe you've already got two 105 dns maybe you've already got good corners and you don't necessarily want any of these 100 overalls it seems too much work for cards you would never use or you don't really want to sell um then my recommendation is with the 
when I give you my best grind, and if you want to follow my grind, you don't have to follow it, it's just the best grind that I am putting out there. Um, you can go ahead and turn a bunch of stuff into these trade-ins to get 90 pluses and 85 pluses and stuff like that. Um, the most notable trade-in sets you're going to see are going to be the Takeover Badge Selects, where you can put one 80 plus player in and 35 tokens and you get a specific Takeover Badge of your choice, whether it be North, South, East, or West. Um, then we also have the Takeover Badge Exchange, where you can exchange badges you don't want for specific badges, then the banners are the banner sets. All right. So to get banners, you're going to need to put one of each badge in, then you can get yourself a banner. Um, you can also trade in one banner and 15 tokens for a, for a new banner, a banner of your choice. That's what I will probably do with these AFC banners, just because I'm not going to be grinding for the AFC promo or the AFC side. I want the NFCs. I want Deacon Jones, and I also want Smith, Cup, and Jenkins. All right? So what is the grind guide? What do you need to complete? What events should you be focusing on? Well, there are eight different events. There are two North events, one for AFC, one for NFC. I've already said there is no specific AFC North or NFC North badges. So um, they award basically the same thing. Okay, then we have the West, the East, and the South events as well. One for each section of the division, okay? And you can complete these for the first wins. They will all refresh at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 Pacific Time. And then they will also refresh at different times during the day. The North will, event, uh, will refresh at 5 p.m. Eastern, the South at 6 p.m. Eastern, the East at 7, and the West at 8, Okay. So the grind you're going to want to follow, and my recommendation is play all eight of these events as soon as you get up, as soon as you get on Man Mobile. Then after that, wait until they refresh and play them again. You are going to need to exchange a couple players in the Madden Futures section for stamina, okay? You're just going to have to. People aren't going to have enough stamina I'm out in the game right now, unless you've already, you know, completed a bunch of West uh, or completed a bunch of Madden Future sets to get yourself some more stamina cap. And then if you've bought the field pass and got the stamina uh, percentage increase type thing, then you should be all right. But for us free to play players, you're going to need to exchange some players for stamina in order to complete all these events. But the grind is very, very simple, very straightforward. Complete all eight of these events, then after that, as soon as they refresh, complete all eight of them again. As I said, you're going to need to turn some players in for stamina. And after you, after you complete all eight, you get an achievement pack, which should give you three banners uh, that are random and three badges that are random, along with 60 tokens and a few 80 plus players. All right. Um, so the grind is very straightforward. It's not going to be too rewarding, but if you can buy the coin Bible packs, uh, I'm not sold on the gem Bible packs yet. I know gems are very coveted for these promos, and I don't know if you should be spending your gems on the badges and the elites just yet. If you can buy the coin Bible packs, if not, it's okay. This promo is just going to be a little bit more difficult for you. As I said, I'm not sold on the gem Bible packs. Stay tuned for my video that I will be dropping later today, breaking down the math. I should have um, more of an insight on those packs later, okay? Grind, as I said, very simple. Complete all eight events. Buy the coin packs if you can. Um, and then exchange some players for stamina so that you can complete all eight of these because most of you guys will not have enough stamina to complete all eight of these events without exchanging 80 plus players. All right. Now, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned when I upload my video going over the math for this promo. Um, and I hope you guys are going to take my grind to heart. If you've got spots in my grind where I could improve on some things, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. Help everybody out so everybody can get the most out of this promo. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any more videos. As I said, stay tuned. I'll have a new video dropping soon, and I'll catch you in my next one. Peace out. Have a great day.